hello and welcome to the channel i am back today with a modern a-frame nordic style cabin it was something that i built on twitch uh, well two nights ago and i finished it last night and i loved how it turned out so i thought i would turn it into a speed build and getting um, the A-frames just right, so you can have a second story in there, like a, essentially a loft room, is, um, is kind of cool. It's kind of cool when you get it right. So you'll see what I do in a moment. But I'm just working out how many tiles I need, because you do need to, to be able to put the side bits on, you need to have two tile wide. You need to leave that gap. And because I need three sections, I need to make sure I leave it on the mi middle section and the bottom section so that I can place the uh, roof all the way down and stop the uh, gaps in the roof. You can see the shadow. You can see the shadow there where there's gaps in the roof. You pull the eaves of the top section all the way down and that way you don't get gaps in it when it snows or anything. And it it's still one, two, five pieces, I had to count them, but it, it ends up looking like it's just one piece, but it's not, it's five sections. And it looks really, really cool. I went with the A-frame because I was looking for cabins to build and I've built quite a few cabins, but I wanted something that, I don't know, something that blended into the landscape, but that was quite, quite modern. And of course the A-frames always are rather modern. So I've given a back deck and a front deck. <laughs> Whenever I say deck, I always chuckle. It's a funny word. It's a funny word. Uh, I went with shingles on the roof for just so that I could try to blend it into the landscape. And this is me checking to make sure that I've got everything covered and then pulling it up. I end up pulling that back down and pulling the top one up. I'm using spooky stuff here because the wood is fantastic. If you don't have the pack, just get it for the wood alone. Seriously, the flooring and the paneling is just gorgeous. This is the door from uh, Snowy Escape and I've used it on, it's for a medium height wall, but this is the smallest height. So what I do do is I tool it down just a section, just so it doesn't go into the upper floor. Um, I will link tool below in the description. It is amazing, and if you like to build, you really should have it. It doesn't uh, show a CC, people don't need to have it installed in the game. And it's just lovely, it's a, it's a great thing, I love tool. One day I will get quite adventurous with it and do something, I don't know. I'm never as venturous as uh, Sati or Kate or Fantasims. They do amazing things. But I'll get there eventually. So I'm just sorting out the windows and because I'd pre-built it, it was, you know, I kind of had an idea what I was doing because I did it live on Twitch. And it was a lot of fun because everybody was, you know, I love, I love building on Twitch because it feels like a collaboration with whoever's in chat. Because I love uh, asking for advice, saying, what do you think? And then, you know, if everybody goes, no, I'm like, oh, okay. And then I'll change it. Or sometimes I just ignore them and just go with my gut. <laughs> because, you know, I do that sometimes. So I'm trying to work out, well, I'm trying to remember how I had it in the interior. So it changes a little because I was like, oh, that's wider than it was. And it, it, I do change the size of the bathroom and uh, the passageway through to the kitchen and the breakfast bar area. I do change the sizes there. But I like to leave these in because it's, it's not just me being lazy, I swear. It's not like, oh no, I don't want to edit it out. <laughs> I like to leave in things like this because it shows the thought process of what I'm doing, what I was thinking. <laughs> And yeah, so we're getting there. I'm using the kitchen items from Snowy because they're quite Nordic. It doesn't have to be that Asian influence, that Japanese influence. You can make it look as Nordic as you want, which is what I was going for. And I don't mind if it's got a slight, you know, little slight feel to it. 
So here I am changing around. I was like, nope, that's not right. That's kind of where I wanted it to be. So now I'm moving it all around again. I end up with the door over by the counters, but that's not for a little while. It's when I'm sort of placing everything that I go, yeah, right, okay. And then I, when I was furnishing it, I was really trying to think of um, how it would be, because I don't want it to be a holiday home. I want it to be, you live in the woods, deep in the woods. This is your cabin in the woods without the murder fire. <laughs> so, and that's the stair upstairs because we do have that loft bedroom above, which I love doing loft bedrooms. I really do. Oh, and I so wish for that, um, the, the top of the A-frame, I really wish we had triangular windows. I made a silly post on Twitter and it's gone kind of like crazy because it seems that everybody wants triangular windows for exactly the same reasons that I did. I, mean, I don't think we'll ever get them, but can a girl dream? Yes. And that's what I was doing, dreaming. So I'm just trying to work out where I can put things, where everything goes. Even though it looks like it's a big space, they're always so small. Because I, 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 I keep saying this, I like to play with my walls up, so that's how I build. That I can play the game with my walls up. I don't have to drop the walls to see around things. Though I am thinking of doing a little tiny build next, but well, that will be fun. So I don't think I'll be able to play with the walls up. I'm not too sure, but maybe I'll start doing some Christmassy type builds because it is that season. Though here in Australia, it is summer. You know, December the 2nd was the first day of summer. So it felt a bit strange building in winter and then having snow over everything. But really cool, but really cool. So in the bathroom here, I was trying to give it that modern Nordic feel. And I couldn't quite work it out, so I put a platform in so we could have the shower like this. I'm using the shower from Discover University. The mat is from Spa Day. The glass screen is from Snowy Escape, as is the toilet and the uh, sink that I eventually use. And I'm trying to keep clean lines with a little tiny bit of clutter. I couldn't work out the floor. I was like, do I have tile there? Do I not? And I changed my mind a few times. That just looked too bleh. <laughs> so I went with white. I went with white. And then I popped a white section of tile onto the wall behind the shower because that's what it felt like it should have. But I'll do that in a moment. Here, I'm trying to give the sim uh, reading material. So building a bookcase there. Over here, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm bouncing around so much. If my build, so when I do spill, speed builds, I never go faster than four times the recorded speed. And I'm just wondering, is it too fast? Do I jump around too much? If, if you have any suggestions, please tell me, because I'm so new to speed builds and I'm trying to get it just right. And it's really hard because I don't like to edit out too much because I want you to see the process. But then there's a point that it's like, you know, too long. I thought this was okay at 25 minutes for a build and fully furnished and landscaped. But uh, tell me if I'm wrong, because I think 15 minutes is probably ideal, but I don't think you get to see much in 15 minutes. Because I know I, my attention span, the only person I really do watch all of their video from the start to the finish, of course, is Devon Bumpkin, Aiden. He is hilarious. I watch Kate, Kate Emeralds, of course, Satie's, I watch hers. Um, but it's quite, it's quite hard to watch, you know, a 40 minute video. Because I, I like the process of watching speed builds, seeing what they're doing. I like to, to learn as much as I can. So I popped a platform into the bedroom here just to give a little bit of um, depth to the room. And then we... Um, I'm trying to 
hoping that I did it. Oh, I was trying to put a trim on it, it wouldn't go, so I just left it. And I was like, oh, I can't be bothered fighting with it. And I would have been fighting with it, it would have been non-stop. <laughs> and here's where I decide to, I think I moved the door, do I move the door? I can't remember now, I can't remember. Oh, I pulled this out because I wanted just a little bit more depth at the back here, because I want to, um, I wanted to have more depth now. Yeah. And here I'm using the shelf from Snowy just to give a little bit more dimension above the door there, just a little bit of division. Here I've already pre-stacked wooden logs because I didn't think you'd want to see me do it. So I just grabbed them from my library, used tool to do the selection so I can move them as one. It took me a moment because I kept moving and getting it wrong. But I'm just using the, uh, oh goodness, I can't even see it myself, the set box. And then I just move it from there into place. Because you didn't want to see me place those, it took forever, <laughs> it took forever. So now I have them in my library and I can just place them at will. And then I'm popping some stairs out and I do do a bit of, a um, little bit extra off camera, which you will see the log chair from Outdoor Retreat. If you raise chairs up by two, so just using the nine key, one, two, you can still sit on them. So I used the chain from Snowy Escape, the rain chain, and made it look like it was hanging. So you got like a, a hanging log seat out the front, which you'll see later, it looks really cool. And here I am just cluttering up the lounge. I didn't want to do too much clutter, I ended up having to move that back because I couldn't light the fireplace because I'd sized down the coffee table. I always size things down. I've never, ever sized up. I think there's probably a couple of times I've sized up, but it's very rare. Like, I never size up plants or anything. I always size them down because they look just way too big for my taste. If you want to size them up, you go for it. <laughs> you do you. But for me, I always size down. Um, because what's the, my mum used to tell me all good things come in small packages, but she was really tiny. I think she had an ulterior motive. I do, I think my mum had an ulterior motive by saying that. So, again, I'm going to use tool just to place to put them in place because it's so much easier. And then, um, I realize that they're not right in place, so I have to downsize them. So, I downsize, and there you go. That's it, done. So, as I said, I did this last night on stream, so it was a lot easier to, you know, to do it this today. I think it's all up, it took me, if I sped it up four times, it's at half an hour, so, yeah, it was like a two hour build and furnish, on and off, probably a little bit more, about three hours. And I kept coming back to it, doing other things and coming back to it. And that, for me, is like super duper fast. But I had done it, I'd built it Thursday night, and then last night just finished off the um, landscaping and the interior. And it's up on the gallery if you would like to get it. It's just a frame cabin, it's up there. It's really strange because I'm starting now to, with my Twitch, because I build a lot there, I'm getting a lot of people who follow me for my builds, which is amazing because I'm known for making pets. So to suddenly have people who watch me, not because I paint pets, but for my builds is like, whoa, it's really cool, it's super cool, super cool. So I'm just going around and looking at things and see, I sized down the plants, couldn't resist, they just look too big to me. I end up changing the table out, I think I do that in a moment, I can't remember, and the rug. Um, but it's just trying to find what works. I decided I didn't like that light, didn't like that light. I like that light, but not for in here. I was trying to keep it cabin, but cute. I don't know, maybe I should clutter more. I don't know, there you go, this is me changing the, as I said, I changed it out. This is me changing it out. I went with that. It, did you know if you turn those around, the back has a pattern on them? I didn't know that. It looks really cool. I was like, wow, that's really nice. 
Then I'm using the plants from uh, Nifty Knitting. I love them, I don't use them as much as I should, but I really do like them. So I'm just trying to clutter this in the sense that it looks lived in, um, with plants. And I do have my go-to favourites, which of course is the rubber plant and that Get Famous one. And the Nifty Knitting plants. Sorry, I'm bouncing around a lot. As I said, I'm not used to doing speed builds. <laughs> my, my speed build skills aren't that great with the camera. I know that the, I know I should um, keep my camera as still as I can, but sometimes it's really difficult. It's really, really difficult. But I'll get there eventually. I will get there eventually. And um, here, there you are. I'm changing those out for the laundry day. Because I just think they, look, they suit the bill better. And then I put in some wall lights and things. I get rid of that as well. Don't like that in the end. I'm so sorry that I bounce around too much. I feel so bad bouncing around so much. I do go with spa daylights, but not the first ones. I change them right now, I think. And I go with the bigger one. Just seems to suit the bill better. And then um, above the coffee table there, I popped that. And then in here, I start to um, put walls up. I use these ones. We got them as the free gift for the Christmas. And they're really cute, I think. I don't use them enough. I really should use them more. I think they come in six swatches and they're great for this time of year you know even all year really because they are that kind of folklore art kind of style which is real cute and now I'm starting to clutter up in the bathroom and um, I always love putting the makeup in there but that's because I'm a girly girl <laughs> and I never know what to use we go I kept it really simple I think I pop tissues in later and then I go with a robe here and then towels on the other side and what I do is I stack the towels but make the top one shorter so it looks like you've got a bath towel and then just a normal towel and I like I like how it goes so that's our bathroom pretty much done and now I'm coming into the kitchen to clutter and you can put anything you like in the cupboards. I mean, I try to make it look as used as I can just by throwing in, you know, uh, pans. The pans are from Dine Out. And then the chilies are the same. And I love chilies, so all my kitchens always have chilies in them because I love chilies. And of course, a little bit of spice. And then just um, salt and pepper. Oh, and I size that down because those knives are huge. Have you seen the size of them? They're like the size of your sim's head. They're massive, absolutely massive. And doing the same here. Oh, and if you size up that uh, lighter fluid, it looks like a dish soap. So yes, we're using that. We were using that. So again, I just try to make it look as cluttered as I can, but organized, not, you know, not like you'd walk in and go, oh my God, who's the who, who's the hoarder? So I try not to do that. I was trying to put, well, there you go. That's where I put the tissues in. And I decided to do that because that looked a bit crazy otherwise. We don't have a washer dryer in here. There is room for one. You could pop it next to the fridge there. But um, I just didn't, I didn't go with that. And cutting board, which is from... Um, Oh, what is it? The, the kitchen one. I can't remember the name of the pack now. I do have all the packs and I do tend to use them all. It's a really bad habit of mine. But um, yeah, it's starting to come together. And then we, there you are. See, I moved the door. So I then popped the window in there. And we are now out the back and I use the outdoor fireplace from Snowy Escape with uh, that dining table because I thought that'd be gorgeous wouldn't it on a crisp winter's morning sit out there with the fire roaring or even at night with a hot cocoa and marshmallows that'd be so nice and I do the same thing here with logs so here it's just like I think you, I'll just skip to the logs done I think I 
don't think I make you watch me do it all, or maybe I do by the looks of it. I can't. Ah, no, there you go. And that was, I had to stack all those. I thought you didn't want to see the process. It drives me crazy. It does. <laughs> and I am a bit twitchy in the sense that it has to look just right. I do get a bit like, you know, it's got to be just perfect. So I think I go start upstairs soon-ish. What am I doing here now? Oh, this is me doing some landscaping. I do make it snow afterwards. I use MCC command and I use it to set the time of the day or change the weather or the season. But I wanted to see how everything looked before I made it snow. So I turned it off and we're in the winter season here. And then I use a get together pack because that's where I'm building over on Windenburg Island. Because I always try to match it into the surround so it blends nicely. And it comes out really nice. It's lovely when it's snowing. It's absolutely, it's really cozy. Like I, I'd go stay there. I'd become a hermit in the woods. In a heartbeat, in a heartbeat. So it's just trying to uh, blend it in so it looks, it looks real. I didn't do a, any terrain painting because I'll just use this constantly in the winter because it just looks so pretty. This sim will live forever more in winter will be forever in winter it will never change for them I love that fallen log but um, it's hard to to make it work and here we are coming upstairs I think there we are again I use the items from snowy escape because they don't have to be Japanese influenced. It, it does look very Ikea-esque, very cabin. I was in a quandary, did I do a really um, authentic cabin or did I, you know, and I went, no, I'll go with this sort of, the modern mix with the A-frame, because A-frames seem to be quite modern. I do use tool on one of the mirrors because I want to bring it down. What I do here with tool is I flip it over Rotate it, flip it over, and then it looks like you've got suitcases there. That was uh, RGB Gaming, was in chat last night. And he was like, do that. And I was like, oh my gosh, yes. I'd seen it somewhere, but forgot how to do it. And thanks to him, who is an amazing builder, you must know him. He's really, really, really good. So um, I do change this to the other side. I take the, um, like the laundry armoire to the other side. And I move the cases to the other side just to give it a little bit more, more room. There you go, that's me flipping it around. I was like, nope, don't like that. I use the Ottoman from Spa Day because it matches the room. And here I just tried to decorate, as I said, as sympathetically to the style as I could. I was gonna go with that plant, I'm like, no. I never know with plants and I use the same ones. And Tony, who's amazing, is amazing always says just pretend you've been to a sound you bought a job lot and that's the way to be so I had to lower that a little bit with tall because it went too high but that should sit on items I don't know why it doesn't and I'm using the um, that's the coat rack with shelves and then you just hide it inside and it looks like you've got a couple of boxes and bags up the top there and keeping it simple with the lighting and everything. And that's it. Right, this is coming to an end. I'm going to hop out, get a little tour at the end. Have a fantastic week and see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.